It's time for some philosophy. <laughs> Seriously though, has anybody ever thought about nothing? Like the concept of nothing. I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of people have talked to, or to all the smart people out there, the smart people know that nothing is nothing new. But to all you uneducated chaps like me, let's think about nothing. Nothing means nothing. And, and by that I mean that the concept of nothing is a made up concept. We have to think about this historically. How did nothing come into being? Nothing was a way to distinguish the difference between an object and what seems like a non-object. I have these plastic bags, right? In between me and the plastic bag, there is nothing, correct? Except that that's not true. We know that nothing, this type of nothing between me and the plastic bag is Air. It is a thing. It is something. Same thing in space. Space is nothing, right? But that's not true. Space is not nothing. And okay, let's try and find a planet. So there's a planet and this is this between my face and the planet. There is empty space, correct? There's empty space. There's nothing. But there is because it's space. Space is something. Even empty space is not nothing. Empty space is something. So what is nothing? Because like some people think that nothing is like when you remove the, like the laws of the universe and you remove the, the, the you remove the, the very foundation of our world that that would be nothing. But yet again, that's totally hypothetical because wh wh what do you mean by removing everything? How can you remove everything? What is nothing? Is this nothing? Is it between my, 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 my forefinger and my thumb? Is there nothing? If n nothing is nothing, nothing is everywhere. But it's also nowhere. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing is nothing. And you can take that sentence any way you want, it will still make sense. To me, and this is just my opinion, nothing can't exist. Nothing is a made up concept. We made it up. The universe can only exist. There can only ever be existence. When you think about the Big Bang, for instance, people say what happened before the Big Bang? But there was no before the Big Bang because time was invented at the moment of the Big Bang. So why are we still debating the birth of the universe. Where did it come from? Let's just stop for a second and think to ourselves, maybe it, it, it can't come from anything because there's no such thing as nothing. I'm not saying it's true. I'm saying it's a possibility. Imagine the universe always existing and it was never made. That would solve a lot of problems. I just want people to get along. So think about this. Think about nothing. To all the people who think that going to space is useless, well, going to space teaches us that there's more than our atmosphere. It teaches us about nothing. When I wonder about one thing, I then wonder about the next thing. And then I wonder about the next thing. And then I take steps, massive steps back. Keep going back. There's always a use. Everything that you can learn can be useful to you. So let's not hear people say, don't send anything to space because we'll never learn anything about us. But we will. For we know, we will. A fish trying to eat a rock. Hey fish, does it taste like chicken? Hey fish, what do you think of life, the universe, and everything? I see. So you mean to say that life, the universe, and everything is a silly question. Fish, answer me this. What is love? Hey fish, fish, fish. Do you know the difference between a mango and an orange? No, well neither do I. Hey fish, fish, answer me this. What is it like being in water when you can see through glass to the air? Hey fish.
It's nice and sunny out. I thought it could be cool if we listened to the silence together. Sometimes it's nice to not say anything. Just appreciate the sun. So how was your day? What have you been up to? I genuinely care, you know. I know probably a lot of YouTubers say, they ask you a question and they say, go to that, down to the comments. And you comment and they don't reply. <laughs> <laughs> but I will reply, because I care. I wonder if there is a moment where I'll no longer be able to reply. It gets me thinking about how we're going to save the world, you know? That's why you can't have just one person saving the world. You need everyone to pitch in. Because one YouTuber can't deal with hundreds of thousands of people. At some point, it gets out of hand. So I need each and every one of you to be the YouTubers, I guess. To spread our message, whatever that message is. Right now, it's be kind, care more. Maybe as I go on in life, I'll learn what needs to be done to change the world and, and I'll do it. I just hope that I can measure up to what could potentially happen in the future. I don't expect much, you know? I don't expect to go viral, I don't expect to be famous, and I, I think it'd probably be bad for me, you know? But if ever something did happen at some point in my life, I really, really hope that I, I wouldn't let you down. I really want to include and I really would try to answer everyone. I wouldn't give up like a lot of YouTubers probably do. I believe that each and every life is precious. Each and every life has a story to tell. Each and every life has something to bring. And so each and every life deserves attention. The question is, does it deserve my attention? Or must I teach people to grant each other attention? When you see someone in trouble, you help uh, physically or mentally, right? I'm not perfect in that regard, but you have to at least try your best. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best every step of the way. This all started with, <laughs> let's enjoy the silence, right? <laughs> oh no, he's talking again. <laughs> so seriously, how is your day? And don't hesitate to say, my day is shit. If it is, then I'll try to cheer you up with a joke or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I've arrived at this place called the Le Laboratoire. This is a real nice place actually. It's not my style, but um, but you gotta admit, look. Look at the setup. Look at all that. Look. Ooh, you can see my feet. Look, hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I guess I'm okay. Well, yes, it's difficult. Difficult doing what? It's difficult to actually stand on one foot. What? Stand on one foot long enough. What, can you say that again? Stand on one foot long enough so that I can finish this bloody sentence. <laughs> so yeah. Totally. Uh-huh. I see. Okay. Okay. This place, otherwise known as the <laughs> Elbow. Let's play. Guess what it is. Do you know what this is? No. Okay. It is... A freaky, freaky guitar thing with two fucking arms and legs. Oh my god, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <sighs> no. No, I made a mistake. No, 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 no. It happens. I had another girl in my sights, okay? She was very uh, adept at, at saying no in, in a nice way. I sent her a text like, oh, let's go to the restaurant, just you, you and me. And she said, oh yeah, totally, we could totally do that. I don't really have the money right now, but we can do it later. And I was like, okay, was, I was going to say, oh, I'll pay it for you. And then she said, oh, maybe such and such can come with us. And then I was like, oh, shit. I used to be really terrible with rejection. I would write songs for girls in high school. None of them liked me. But the thing is that it happens all the time. There will be plenty of girls in the world. It will just feel natural, I suppose. But see, that's the thing. I don't know if it's gonna feel natural or not. Oh my god, it's a bird <laughs> Playing with perspective. Stop making noise! Stop ruining the planet! Bus. I tell myself that it's gonna be okay, that I'll fall into the kiss, and people keep saying, it'll happen to you. But it's not just gonna happen, it never just happens. People have to actually do stuff. It kind of pisses me off, because I'm the one that's expected to do everything. Now, I don't mind rejection in general, but it feels like shit when you do get rejected. You see, there's a buffer that you have. You only have a certain amount of shit that you can take before you start eroding your soul, eroding your spirit, if you like. I'm disappointed. I wonder about my physical appearance, I wonder about my, my, my who I am. I want to be positive, but a good scientist looks at the evidence for making a claim. And the evidence is not in my favor. There's a 1% chance that when I change countries or, or cities at least, that things will change. But I shouldn't count on it. I can't tell you that your story, just like mine, is going to work out or not work out. But you got to keep on hoping 
anyway. Because if you don't hope, you die. Now the worst thing is that that chick rejected me. She likes my music. This isn't the first feeling I've had, or the first evidence, that some people like my music, but they really know how to dissociate the music from me. Music isn't gonna bring me a girl. They have to like me. So all the people that say stuff like, you're a musician, you're gonna attract a lot of girls. Yes, I will, but all the wrong ones. I wanna go to LA, but is LA the right place to go? Where is there a place? Where is there a girl for someone like me? I know I've been given a lot. But that's not a reason for me to not want more, especially when it comes to love. It's really tiring to have your soul, to have your spirit eroded by sadness. I'm losing my spirit. I'm losing who I am. It's not about this girl. But you know the last straw? Well, I've been pulling on that last straw for years. Yet I trudge on, because I don't have a choice. I said that I wouldn't kill myself, and I don't think I'll do it. I know it's probably just me. It's probably my physical appearance. It's probably my personality. It's probably me. It's not the world, is it? I'm sour. I am salty. Which is weird because they mean the same thing, but it's not the same thing. I'm so sugary. Feeling the sugar. I know nothing. I just know nothing. So many people need help. There's a manga out there where the main character just wants to be the Pirate King. And I want to be the Pirate King too. By that I mean uh, I want to change the world. But I also want... I also want all the simple things. That main character doesn't seem to be in interested in women. Maybe I'll become like that. I guess things are not happening for me, but I'm still useful. I can still help others find love and find food and have good lives. But underneath it all, I'll always be that kid that got rejected. Just don't forget it. I'm like everyone else. Did I scare you? Were you scared? If you were, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. You can also follow me at Karen Lacam for both Instagram or Twitter. Maybe I didn't scare you at all. Maybe I didn't scare you at all. We need to go back from whence we came into the shadow of darkness. I will disappear into the shadow.